Welcome to Jesus time, everybody. This is a day that God made for us. And because God made this day, it's good for us to rejoice and be glad in it. That means be happy that we have Jesus. We're going to have a, now a Bible story about Jesus. And this is the story of Noah and the ark. Are you ready to hear it? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Bible story comes from the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, because it was a long, long time ago. Remember when we talked about God when he made the world? He made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that fills it, the trees, and all the animals, and he made people? God made the people. So I'm going to put some up here. But the people did not worship the Lord. The people turned away from God, and they hated God, and they began to be very, very wicked. Here's a man I found. He looks like he's kind of wicked, right? He looks like maybe he's trying to steal something, or he hates somebody. What kind of things did the wicked people do? They, they had more, they had gods that were not God. Remember the first commandment, you shall have no other gods. Well, the wicked people, they had another god. A false god made out of metal. Bing, bing, bing. All kinds of false gods. That's not really God. Look what happens. They created a false god, and they were saying prayers to that god. Can that god hear him pray? No. Can that god help him? No. What else did they do? They did not honor their father and mother. They murdered. They committed adultery. They stole. They bore false witness against their neighbor. All the sins that God wants us not to do, they did them. And all the things God wanted us to do, they didn't do them. The people were so evil, that God said, I'm sorry that I made these people. So, God determined to send a flood and make all those people go away. But Noah found favor in God's sight. That means Noah trusted in the Lord, and the Lord loved Noah. So the Lord told Noah, Noah, I am going to send a flood, and the flood will make the waters rise, rise, rise up, so that all these wicked people are gone. But I want you to be safe. So, you'll have to build a boat, Noah. And I want you to take your wife in the boat. I want you to take your three sons. And your three sons' wives, and I want all of your family to go into the boat and be saved from the flood. Noah, you have to build the boat. So Noah built the ark. He built it out of wood, and he made it big enough so that he could take in two of every kind of animal um, and some more animals, too. And that's what happened. Now, we need to get the animals to go into the ark, because God wants to save the animals, too. God's going to send a flood and make all the wicked people go underwater, but he's going to save Noah, his family, and the animals. Let's put some animals in the ark. The lions are going to go. Two lions, a mommy lion and a daddy lion. Some goats are going to go, two goats, 
a mommy goat and daddy goat. How about some lambs? They're going to go into the ark. Some sheep, a mommy sheep, a daddy sheep. Some elephants, they're going to go into the ark. Some tigers, they're going to go into the ark as well. All these animals, God brought them into the ark because he wanted to save the animals from the waters. So they all went in. And Noah went in, his wife, his three sons, and his three sons' wife. They all went in the ark. Let's take them down. How many people went in the ark? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people went in the ark. Lots and lots of people didn't go in the ark. Let's see them again. Here they are. They're looking at the ark. They're thinking, Noah built that ark. Noah is silly. He doesn't need to build an ark. He's being silly. We don't believe that there's going to be a flood. We don't believe God is going to send a flood. We're okay. We like to have our wickedness. See, he's laughing at the ark. They didn't go in the ark. They stayed out. And then, after the Lord closed the door of the ark with Noah and his family and the animals inside, do you know what happened? Then it started to rain. And the deep of the heavens broke open and all kinds of rain came down. And the deep from the earth below broke open and all kinds of water came up. And there was so much water, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights, so that the water covered up everything. The water covered up the grass, the water covered up the trees, the water covered up the mountains, the water covered up all the people, the water covered up all the animals. But Noah and his family were safe in this ark. And after it stopped raining, they waited, and they waited, and they waited. And pretty soon, the ark came to stop on a mountain. And Noah sent out the bird to find out, is it okay to come out of the ark yet? He sent out the bird, but there was no place for the bird to go, because there was too much water. So the bird went back in. The water started to go down and down and down. And after the water began to go down, and they kept waiting and they kept waiting, pretty soon there was grass again. And Noah's ark was sitting here and he sent out the bird one more time. And it brought back a branch in its mouth to Noah. He sent out the bird one more time and this time it did not come back. Why? because it found a new home. It found a new home in the world that God had saved. So Noah came out of the ark and the Lord gave something special to Noah. He put it in the sky. Do you know what it was? The rainbow. And the Lord told Noah, I make a covenant with you, Noah, I promise. I will never again send a flood to wash away all the wicked people. So Noah can look at the rainbow. Every time he sees a rainbow, he can remember that God was merciful and he forgave Noah his sins. God loved him. Have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky? I have too. And every time I see a rainbow, I remember how good God is, that he saved Noah and his family through the waters. God saved us too, and he sent Jesus. What did Jesus do for you? Jesus died on the cross to take away your sins, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. Every time I see a rainbow, I think about Jesus. Do you want to sing another song with me? Let's sing our song, 
Jesus loves me. This I know. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I've got another song. When life's troubles rise to meet me. That water rise. That water would rise up, up, up. And that was a trouble. But this song says, when the troubles rise to meet me, they will not defeat me. When life's troubles rise to meet me, though their weight may be great, they will not defeat me. God, my loving Savior, sends them. He who knows all my woes knows how best to end them. That song always makes me happy to remember that every time there's something scary, like a flood or like a storm, I know that God can still take care of us, and he knows how to end it. Let's do the Ten Commandments. I want to learn the Ten Commandments with you so that we, like Noah, can trust in the Lord, not like those wicked people who trusted in a false god. Number one, you shall have no other gods before me, nor make for yourselves any graven image to bow down to it. Two, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Three, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Four, honor your father and your mother. Five, you shall not murder. Six, you shall not commit adultery. Seven, you shall not steal. Eight, you shall not bear false testimony against your neighbor. Nine, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. Ten, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife, his manservant or maidservant, his ox or his donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. You know the Ten Commandments, just like Noah. Well, are you ready for us to say our prayer? We're going to talk to Jesus now. He can hear us. Just as he talks with us in his word, we'll talk to him in our prayers. He's listening. Let's pray. Almighty God, you sent the flood and you saved Noah. Thank you for saving us too. And help us to say thank you always and to take care of each other. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Very good, everybody. Your teachers love you, your mommy and daddy loves you, and Jesus loves you. So I'll see you again for Jesus' time next time. Have a wonderful day.